The Atlanta Hawks landed DeAndre Hunter on the fourth pick of the 2019 draft. So far, GM Travis Schlenk has shown that he is not afraid to trade picks for prospects that he likes in the draft. And the Hawks now have a young core of talent that rivals New Orleans without the bonus of having Zion Williamson. Hunter projects as a 3 and D NBA player with the ability to guard multiple positions at 6'7", comparing to OG Ananobi and Thaddeus Young in the NBA based on size and skill set. Hunter's ceiling isn't as high as other players taken later in the lottery, like Darius Garland, Jarrett Culver, or even Jackson Hayes. But with playmakers like Trey Young and John Collins, the Hawks were valuing defensive swishability and reliable spot-up shooting more than a high-risk reward player type. While the Hawks aren't in playoff mode yet, they are hoping that Hunter will mesh into a spongy, reliable player for a playoff push in perhaps 2020. From a scouting standpoint, Hunter shows flashes where he can penetrate and finish around the rim despite average athleticism. He uses the ball fake well to drive into the paint or kick to open shooters, and isn't afraid to go one-on-one -on -one against rangy guards. Hunter is good at reading body angles and making quick cuts around the basket, which is a skill he can use against bigger, more athletic bodies in the NBA. In college, his mid-range game was hard to stop, using his length to elevate over defenders on the perimeter. He was also able to create his own pull-up jumpers, and is one of the best three-point shooters in this draft. However, some scouts say that he needs to get a quicker release at the next level. In this pick, the Hawks definitely liked Hunter's do-it-all skill set and how he meshed with players like Ty Jerome and Kyle Guy at Virginia, knowing the precise time and position to create open looks for these guards, showing high ability to play on and off the ball. His unselfish passing and movement without the ball give him a better chance of clicking with ball-dominant Trey Young. Hunter's length allows him to contest most shots or force a pass, but at times he is muscled out of the way by bigger, stronger players, which could be magnified against larger NBA forwards. He also wasn't a great shot blocker in college, and didn't create many steals. Because he isn't elite at any one skill, many scouts and analytics people project him closer to a role player than a starter. But a strong March Madness showing definitely spiked his draft stock, and it isn't far-fetched to believe that he can outperform these expectations. On a side note, it will be interesting to see Hunter play outside of Tony Bennett's slow, grinding system and run under Lloyd Pierce's fast, chaotic style. Outside of perhaps the top three selections, there were a lot of skilled but riskier picks available. Taken at number eight, Jackson Hayes projects as a rangy, more athletic forward with a 7'4 wingspan. PJ Washington is more physical than Hunter with a good outside jumper. Cam Reddish, another Hawks pick, could develop into a nice three-point shooter in the NBA. Chuma Okiki was also lights out from beyond the arc and is a good decision maker on the floor. Of course, in any draft, fans won't always agree with their front office. The magic makes me mad. Every draft. But whether you pick a player with more upside like Okiki or a more ready-made NBA type like Hunter, there's no way to clearly forecast their careers. As a Philly native, Hunter will be trading in cheesesteaks for lemon pepper wings. And more importantly, the Hawks are certainly hoping that Hunter, Trey Young, John Collins, and Kevin Herter can bring playoff basketball back to Atlanta.